Spain is renowned for its rich and varied culture. It's a country of great tradition and stunning architecture. It's also a land where football passions run deep, but Spain constantly failed to deliver on the big stage. Just look how much they have going for them. The fabulous Bernabeu Stadium is the home of Real Madrid, one of the biggest names in world football. This was the theatre for the exquisite side that were perennial European champions in the days of Alfredo Di Stefano and Ferenc Puskas. Then, of course, there's Real's fierce rivals from the new cap, Barcelona. In recent years, the Spanish league has attracted talent from all over the world. Plus top coaches such as Jorge Valdano, the Dutch master Johan Cruyff and England's Terry Venables. So why have Spain never managed better than fourth place in nine World Cups? And why was their only European Championship win 32 years ago? The abrasive, pragmatic coach Javier Clemente plans to change that nearly man image and his side will be nobody's pushovers. Spain won the European Championship in 1964 and reached the final in 1984, but they failed to even qualify for Sweden four years ago. This time, the squad reached the finals impressively, going through their qualification group unbeaten, and they have a few characters in the lineup as well. I think Spain must show their worth during the competition. The first team I joined was in the final in the French European Championship. And from Spain's point of view, that's been our main achievement. At the moment, we have a very good team with good prospects, but we have to prove ourselves in the championship. Goalkeeper Zubi Zareta is the most capped player in Spanish history, with over 100 to his name. He's been the number one for 12 years and has seen off all attempts to replace him with a Madrid-based keeper. Zubi's 34 now, and even though Barcelona's Johan Cruyff lost faith in him, the Spanish coach Clemente definitely hasn't. Now with Valencia, Zubi presents a huge frame to strikers and remains an excellent shot stopper. Ask who's the key man for Spain, and a lot of good judges would pinpoint Fernando Hierro, Real Madrid's dependable anchor man, either in defence or in midfield. Hierro symbolises Spain's workaholic style under Clemente, and he takes a great free kick. This tall powerhouse of a player is likely to turn up in either penalty area. He's an ex-stopper with a striker's instinct for goals. This was a key goal in Spain's 4-1 win over Belgium. And this penalty earned a point in Denmark. The arrow might shun the bright lights and doesn't court controversy. But ask the players, the arrow is a star and a vital cog in the Spanish wheel. Miguel Angel Nadal is Spain's defensive hard man. At the 1994 World Cup in the USA, he got a red card and a two-match ban, and suspension is threatening to rule him out of the first two games of Euro 96. But the big Barcelona defender is rated highly by his coach, and not all his talents are destructive. He's a man for a crisis, clearing off the line here with his side in trouble. He's resolute and tough, and very few strikers will relish their confrontations with Senor Nadal this summer in England. Nadal has 29 caps, and when he comes forward, he's a real threat in the air. He's proved that on more than one occasion. But does Nadal feel that the long, hard Spanish season will affect the team in the summer? Luis Enrique is a versatile wide man signed by Real Madrid for only a million pounds from Sporting Gijón. He's worth several times that now. He first made his name as a star in Spain's Olympic gold medal winning side in the Barcelona Olympics. Luis Enrique was a key man in the qualification campaign. When he drifted into the middle, he induced panic in defenders. Here, the Danes are forced to give away a penalty kick. His close control can be sensational. Look at this run, which helped set up another penalty against Belgium. They just couldn't contain him. 
and he rounded off that special performance with a goal that killed off Belgium's chances of qualification. The gangling Jose Salinas, now 33, is one of football's survivors. He's hit 22 goals in his 54 internationals and has a habit of being around to pick up those unconsidered trifles around the penalty area. This bizarre goal came for Spain against Macedonia. The Spaniards are strongly fancied. They're a battle-hardened bunch who'll be well-organized and resilient. But there is a question. Do they have that extra flair to actually win the tournament? One young man who might provide it is 22-year-old pin-up boy Julen Guerrero of Athletic Bilbao. He's a blonde-haired midfield man, groomed for superstardom. His name means warrior, and he provides explosive moments. He can come up with a few bits and pieces goals as well, like this one. Guerrero was sparely used at the World Cup and can't seem to establish himself in the starting lineup for all his talent. And will there be a chance for Real Madrid's 18-year-old discovery, Raul? So far, he hasn't made the breakthrough into the national side, but it's surely only a matter of time after some eye-catching performances for Real. The youngster's already got a championship medal and would love the chance to add to that in England. Spain won eight and drew two of their ten qualification matches, and they let in only four goals along the way, finishing ahead of Denmark. Now they face Bulgaria, France and Romania in a tough group, and all their games will be in Leeds. We wonder, will it be pain or gain for the men of Spain this summer? Captain Fernando Hierro and his team have set themselves high standards. And in England, only more of the same will be... Can't stay up that late or for some reason...